I have a reflection that I have titled for the holiest of days because I believe that this is one of the holiest of days though Easter of course and Christmas are holier for Mary who was just a common lass this is the holiest of all days please think and reflect upon these words May it be done to me according to your word. May it be done to me according to your word. May it be done to me according to your word. Think of your life. Not just the recent year, but think about the whole span of it. In ancient Judea, they lived much shorter lives, so necessarily they lived faster. Mary was only 12 years old when this occurred in her life. But then, for them, this was prime marrying and breeding years. For a wife's value was measured greatly by how many strong sons she bore to work alongside you, the man, to help you in the family business of fishing, as with James and John, Zebedee's sons, or with carpentry for the sons of Joseph. But at sixteen, or eighteen years old in our time, if an angel of the Lord had appeared to you, would you have responded as levelly as she? No, not to cast dispersions on any of you, but I suspect at that age your first thoughts would have been along the lines of, who spiked my beer? Or, I gotta quit eating that pizza before I go to bed. It would not have been acceptance of the angel, nor of the angel's word. Even if you, as Mary, had been living in a monastery for most of your life. And to bow your head and say, may it be done according to your word. Or, the alternate, Thy will be done, dear God, Thy will be done. What a marvellous and trusting soul is she, This beloved child, holy of God, Born without sin, so that she will be born free of sin, Able to give birth to our beloved Christ, free of sin. Blessed Mary, entrusting Anne, her mother, may your trust in God's word be our guide. You knew that these were his angels, verses coming from the evil one, and you both trusted and believed. They had faith. Blessed be all those who accept the Lord's word of the future on faith, as it will be many years away before they are shown what is true. May faith be their guide, their comfort, and their consolation when alone with their belief and their faith. Such faith brought us the Christ. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you always.